for today. Land on the grass. Well, it's starting to look like summer around here, and that means flying time. Working on expanding my comfort zone with Raven, so this evening I decided to head west to Vermilion Bay Airport and practice some takeoffs and landings on the grass. The Vermilion Bay Airport has a 2600 foot grass strip running north-south, and it shares a traffic frequency with the uh, Wilderness Air Water Base, just a few miles away from the actual airport. Springtime is a busy time of year for Wilderness Air as well, so they'll be flying in and out of that lake pretty steady, so it's a good idea to keep your eyes peeled for float plans. So I'm all strapped in, time to commit aviation. Here we go. everybody. The plan for today is to uh, go out to Vermilion Bay and land on the grass. Now I've landed this airplane on the grass in a couple of different places. I've been to uh, Lincrest, I have been to Bundar. Uh, where else have I landed on the grass? That might be it. Uh, but uh, yesterday I uh, had the opportunity, I was coming through Vermilion Bay, uh, coming back from work. It was a beautiful day and I was uh, running, actually I had a schedule for a change, so I took an opportunity, I went out to the uh, Vermilion Bay Airport and I walked the runways. So, uh, pretty important. Uh, this uh, Vermilion Bay Airport doesn't get used a, a great deal. So it's, uh, it's not like I could call somebody and say, hey, how's the runway doing? So uh, without having somebody there or eyes on the ground, um, I thought it would be prudent to uh, go for a walk, so that's what I did. I walked the runway, I picked up a couple of sticks and a couple of big rocks, got them out of the way, looked for any soft spots, and uh, strained up a few cones that got knocked over. Uh, but other than that, the uh, runway actually looks pretty good, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna give her a whirl, and the trick will be to stay on the center line. So as you get closer to the edges there, it gets uh, you know, naturally it gets a little uglier, but uh, our plan is to stay close to the center line as possible. Gonna make a radio call here, we're 10 miles back. A Vermilion Bay Area traffic, RV6 Gulf Hotel, Mike Bravo is uh, 10 miles, and uh, I make that 8.5 miles to the east. 3,000 inbound to the Vermilion Bay Airport. Just looking for any traffic in the Vermilion Bay Circuit or on the water base. All right. Well, we landed in the grass in Vermilion Bay. Everything went pretty good. Now we're gonna see if we can take off again. Trim is set. Fill pumps on, mixture's rich. Let's go fly. I noticed something in the GoPro footage from this shot that I would have never seen without the camera. The small fairing that goes between the bottom of the cowling and the gear leg uh, is held in place by springs and, and the springs are getting weak I guess because it looks like it's hanging down there. Vermilion 
Nine bay traffic, yellow RV6. This is the nice field downwind for four stop three six. Nine bay traffic, yellow RV6, turn uh, left bay three six, four stop. Nine bay traffic, yellow RV6, turn final three six, full stop. Keep it on the center line. A little bit of a crosswind from the right side, but... Coming in a little quick, we can slow her down now. There's, we're nearly on our speed there now. Feet are awake. So many of traffic, yellow RV6, short final 3-6. Looking back on this landing, I can see I come in just a little bit fast. Too fast for a three-pointer. I kind of got in a three-point attitude in the ground effect, and it just kind of skimmed along the grass there a little bit. Got a couple of little hops. For the next landing, I eased the speed off just a little bit and went much better. The difference of a couple knots makes a big difference. So it was backtrack back to the end of the runway, turn around and try again. You could see as soon as I slowed down that little gear leg fairing popped back into position. I think the springs are just getting a little bit weak. So it's back to the end of the runway, get turned around and line her up for another go. Sure was a nice spring night for flying. That setting sun though was creating a shadow over the runway. It was getting kind of hard to see the cones. That droopy gear leg fairing is really bugging me. But it seems as soon as the speed goes down it pops back into place. Getting really hard to see the cones in the shade. I shaved a couple of knots off my approach speed on this one and it seemed to be much smoother. My touchdown point was also a lot closer to the threshold, which meant I got stopped in plenty of time. I set the tripod up about a third of the way down the runway with the GoPro going on it. I was able to stop long before I got to that point. As I said before, it's pretty quiet out in Vermilion Bay, so I didn't uh, get too worried about setting up a tripod on the edge of the runway and just kind of leave it there while I flew around. I had a pretty good idea it was still going to be there when I got back. But it's probably still a good idea to pick it up before I flew back to Dryden. So all in all, it was a pretty good evening. I got a little bit more experience flying Raven off the grass, got a little better understanding how she handles and uh, what kind of speeds to expect, and it was a real good experience. I'm uh, hoping to get more grass experience this summer. At the time of editing this video, I've been working on a little bit of flight planning for a trip to the to the east this time. I spent uh, many a many an hour flying west uh, last summer out to Moose Jaw a couple of times and around southern Manitoba. So the plan for this summer is to head east. So it's uh, looking like I'm going to be finding some grass strips in uh, southeastern Ontario this summer. So stay tuned to the channel for more of that. So after picking up the tripod and gathering up all the camera gear and stowing that back in the back of the airplane. So, time to head back to Dryden. One more takeoff in the grass. Uh, 
So once I get back to Dryden, I'm going to pop the top piece of the cowling off and have a look down in there where the springs are that hold those little gear leg fairings in and see if I can get some newer springs or uh, some other way to keep those from sagging down in flight like that. I'm sure they're causing all kinds of drag and maybe I'll pick up a couple of miles an hour. All right, now we really got to watch out around here. It's uh, birds more than anything, I think. So you couldn't see it on the camera, but uh, at the north end of this runway on my first uh, takeoff, there was a couple of Canada geese, or as we like to call them, cobra chickens. Uh, they were uh, they were on the edge of the runway and uh, decided to take off and head north just as I was taken off through there. Fortunately, they kind of stayed below me and to the left, so um, there was no conflict. But uh, yeah, it might be a good idea to do a low and over before you uh, come down here and just have a look for any kind of wildlife on the runway. There's no fences or anything around these uh, runways, and there's uh, always wildlife around. So, note to self. All right, that's better. Okay, chip set. The pump pod next bridge. Canopy closed and locked. Away we go. So I took off and headed back to Dryden. Flight was pretty uneventful. Thanks for watching.